Hey, it's Ariel. So, um, I had a few of you guys message me about certain things besides just state board. And I promise I will get on to more state videos. It's just everything I did have was thrown up into my closet because I've been working every day. So I've never had time to actually sit down and look like step by step what I was going to do or how I was going to put the video out there to make it in a hurry so I could adjust my time because I don't have any fancy technology on my computer. So, um... Until then, I'm just going to show you some of the questions that you guys asked me, like how I foil, or um, this is one of them, my foiling techniques. Um, I've only been to two hair shows in my whole entire life, so nothing really fancy, so I'm just going to get straight up on it. Um, I know before you foil, you're, you're going to need a towel cape towel. Honestly, since <laughs> this isn't for state board or anything, I'm just going to put a towel around her. To make me happy and to make her happy and then <laughs> I'm gonna put a cape but you also need another towel just just for chemical reasons and you also need a chemical cape so don't be using no like nylon you need a plastic one that's gonna um, almost like a raincoat it feels like a raincoat if you don't know what that is so if you're just doing this at home for fun maybe put a poncho around them and have a little head hole you know stuff like that so there's her little cape the honor. She's all excited to get her her did. And um I guess I'll start. There you have it. She's already parted and she's marvelously ready. Um sorry. You're gonna need a foiling comb, and the foiling combs I use are the longer pins for for, for perfect foil pins. Um they're the extra large. The one I'm using today is the 4630XL and there's also another one that's in your package when I buy them at Sally's it's a 4641 and the only difference is one has little bristles and the other one has big bristles um, I like the longer one because I feel like you can get the foil tighter to the scalp the foils I'm also using are the soft and style embossed non-slip professional foils I like these Regular foils are like silky and soft, like they're like aluminum foil pretty much. These, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick it up. They kind of have like a indents, like a piece of crumpled foil would have. So that's a plus. Um, so say your little lady says, oh my goodness, you know what I want? I want a peekaboo highlight. So say she has a bunch of layers in her hair. She does have quite a few layers, but not as many as a peekaboo highlight lady would want. So... To make it a little fancy, instead of taking like a straight across foil like that and going pa pow and then just having one layer like that, that the layer is going to lay right on it and you're just going to see a line of color. That is ooky. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to do something so fancy. We're going to take it and we're going to go Nickelodeon. And we're going to take it at a cross. So make sure you're going to want that cross to be neat. So if she comes back for a touch up later on in life it's going to be perfect it's not going to be all sloppy and icky mickey so now that we have that at parted and um sectioned off as a diagonal range let's throw something funky in there instead of just having a cross like that let's do a triangle parting and you never want this to be like perfect oh so so you want it to be kind of crazy for these peekaboo highlights in the back so there we go we got the little um triangle method going on so the first step i would do just to get this going is taking a little section and you don't want it to be any bigger than uh, this section like the tip of your comb like i don't know what this is called like the width you never want your section bigger than that or you're just going to have a really sloppy looking mess so you're going to do it and you're going to pull it taut now i'm telling you again i'm not a, i'm a professional but i'm not a smarty like pants I don't know everything so I don't want no one coming back at me if you're doing that wrong you don't know what you're doing I am new at this guys so I'm glad you guys subscribed to me but I hate hateful comments because I hope you guys know I'm new so you're going to take your foil and you're going to push it right under you want to get that as crammed in there as you possibly can and most of the time um I have my color pot just sitting around you know my bowl in my brush um to make things easier for me later so i don't have a bunch of cleanup i just have a regular um 
my cholesterol going on here. So um, this is going to be pretty easy for you to see. And I definitely don't want to be doing color in my room getting it all over my carpet. And I also have my coloring brush going on. Regular old Sally's um, one and a half inches brushies. So I have that placed nice and firm up to her head. You're going to get some of that color on your brush, which I'm using just cholesterol. And you're going to try to put it in the middle of your foil first. You know why? You know why? You're not going to put it at the roots. It's going to hold that foil. And then you can take your comb out. The reason you want to take your comb out is you can push these sides even tighter to the scalp. Ooh, she's going to bend and you guys aren't going to see her. Now, girl, you need to stick your head back up. You're going to do this and then you can get really close to those roots. So you won't have anything that's like, uh, that's like way too far from my scalp, girl. It looks like I already have new growth. Can you see what I'm doing to her head? This is a bunch of poop scum. Probably not. But if, you, if you're trying to get what I'm saying, if you push that, you can get those little corners super duper close. So you're going to like slather on that mucous membrane of that color on there. That's what it looks like. It looks like schnott. You can get some more. And curl her up, get her all, get her all on there. And then you can either take your comb after you lather that foil up with that color. And let's just say we're doing lightener now. I know her hair is already light, but pretend because that's the color of what I'm using. So just say that's a lightener or like a light mocha color, you know. Let's say it's an 8G I just put on her scalp, to be fair. I'm going to take your comb and you're going to push that foil. Bam. So you got that, right? Bam. Bam. Um, get that foil. Beautiful. See how I did that? Now that's not straight across. That is a diagonal, girls. Girls. Then I like to um, fold it this way and uh, fold it that way. Now see how we have that other triangle piece going the other way? This is probably going to be super hard for me, so I don't know if I'll be able to do this or show you guys going to take that piece and diagonally cut it too. Bam! Get that with the cat. So now that we have this other piece, it's almost overlapping. So we're going to have to take a little off that and stick that piece up. So do you see what I'm saying? This is crisscross applesauce. You're going to take another piece of your marvelous foil. I'm going to do the same exact thing. Bam. Bam. You can take your comb out. It don't matter. I usually take my comb out after I get it nice and plugged up there. Same thing. Get it real close to the roots. Never get it on the roots or you're going to have that ugly bleeding. If you know what I mean, guys. And if you're not a professional and you never foiled before, bleeding is like if you go to someone that's brand new, you have like these stripes on your head and you look like a skunk and it's not very attractive. So that's why you want it to get as close as you can, but you never want to get it that close. You know what I mean? And you're just going to want to fold it up the same way that I showed you before. So we just finished the crisscross foils in the back. I'm going to show you a new foil, everyone. Um, most of you guys who do like foils on a regular basis um, know what I'm talking about. You have a client come in and they say, I want my whole head foiled. Everything on my whole entire head foiled. And they'll take the foils and they'll just place them this diagonal way. I think that's diagonal. I'm pretty sure. No, is it horizontal? I think it's diagonal. No diagonals like this. I really don't know. <laughs> they take the foils and um, they put them kind of like straight across like this and they'll put like the bleach they always start down here you know what I mean they put the bleach then the lightener or that's the same thing <laughs> the lightener then they'll put like a brown or a color lightener color lightener and then you have like these stripes when they want to wear their hair up they have the brown the lightener the brown the lightener the brown the lightener and it looks like a skunk stripe so to avoid that from happening and your clients being very dissatisfied when they want to wear their hair up in a ponytail, um, is you're going to take the first, like, I take like the first two to three inches 
of hair if they have an extra large head. And um, I'll section it off. And all this, I'll do diagonal foils with it. And then I'll take this and do these all up and down foils, if you get what I mean. So these are all side foils, like side, you know what I mean, sideway foils, the lightener, the color, the lightener, the color. These, I do the lightener, the color, the lightener, the color. Down. And you're going to take a small section. Like I said before, I usually do the width of my comb. So the width of my comb, I think that's perfect. And then I'm going to take all this and put it back and use it in a little bit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So you're going to take it. I decided to make it a little smaller. Just for my pleasure. So I have this. Um, if you're doing the weaving and slicing between natural hair and non-natural hair, you know, put that lightener. You can do the same thing with it. See? It's easy as pie. And you have those. And there's her, you can make all this her natural hair color or all this lightener hair color. So you can weave or slice the same way. I'll do the same thing. Take foil. Fold it over. Y'all come, girl. And you're going to most likely want to tell them to close their eyes. Shut their mouth and hold their nose. If your color smells. But most of the time, they know what's coming if they come to me. So, same thing. Close as you can to get to the scalp, but not close enough to give them those ugly skunk lines with the bleeding if you put them under the... What is it called? Under the dryer. So, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Sideways. And you're going to color it. Now, honestly, you don't have to do this to her face. If I had more hands... And she's not going to fall off and I wouldn't have to hold this with my other hand. I'd show you, you can actually take your hand, hold the foil and do the same thing and apply the color. So you really don't have to smush your face. Once you have the color all emulsified and separated and you know, all good on that, <laughs> on that foil, you can just do the same thing and bend it and bend it. And to keep it out of their face. Bend it one more time. That's not going to hurt anything. And then you're going to do two or three more if you want. Or you can just do the whole side of the head. So that's Thanks for watching. Bye.